Good morning, everyone. It's good to be able to come with you on this broadcast today, and thank you for listening to this broadcast. I love you and appreciate you very much. I want to talk to you from the 103rd chapter, in verses 1 through 3. It starts off and says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. And then it goes on to say, and and bless the Lord in verse number two, and forget not all of his benefits, who forgiveth all of thy iniquities, and heals all of thy diseases. You know, I'm so glad we serve the Lord. If you're a Christian today, and if you're not a Christian, you need to be a Christian, because many Christians, they go through a lot of trials, and they go through a lot of tests along the way. But in the end, we always come out ahead because we've got the Lord Jesus Christ in our life. We're reminded by the psalmist to not forget all of his benefits. God has a lot of benefits and a lot of promises in the Word of God that we can access and stand up on every day and believe God for miracles in our life and believe God for healings and believe God for deliverance from any kind of destruction that's going to uh, come our way. Forgetting all of his benefits, who forgive all of thy iniquities. You know, we were born into sin. Uh, we were all born into sin. If we say we don't have no sin, the Bible says that we're not telling the truth. And so we need to be sure that when we're born into sin, that we ask Jesus Christ to come into our life and save us from our iniquities. We, uh, it seems like that uh, there's a tendency of morals that have really decayed and things have really gone down today. But we, we have to understand that the Lord forgives us of all of our iniquities. It matters not what you have done in the past. God is willing to forgive your past if you're willing to come to the throne of grace and call upon the Lord with all of your heart and seek God and turn your life over to God, accept the provision that Jesus provided for you on the cross of Calvary. He died for your sins. Uh, he wants you to go to heaven. He loves us so much. He's calling all of us today that we might go to heaven and forgetting all of his iniquities, and he heals all of our diseases. You know, there's a lot of diseases that's going on today. We've had a battle with pandemics here lately. But folks, I want to tell you the ultimate thing is God is still our healer. He is, he is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. He wants to heal your body today. Believe God today for healing. If you're sick today and you're not saved, call upon the name of the Lord and read the 103rd chapter of the book of Psalms. God bless you today. This is your friend, Raymond Mayfield.